Hi there guys and welcome to another Train Sim, about to say 2020 some there, but it's not, it's Train Sim Classic. Anyway, today we are taking a look at, well it's not, it's not my first look, but I'm taking a look at the uh, Nottingham Lincoln extension by Just Trains. Uh, this is, I've got the standard and the extension actually both installed, this is just on the extension, so this now links into the rest of the Midland Mainline uh, by, by JT. Drove this in our own stream a couple of weeks ago. Really thoroughly enjoyed it, but I thought it'd be nice to show it off as a video. I'm only going to show off the section between Lincoln and Nottingham, because um, we've seen sort of the rest of that. And this scenario is, I think, an hour and 20, I think maybe an hour and 40. It's uh, 1 Bravo 1 9, and it is by John 180, and it's available over on alanthompsonsim.com. The route we're doing today is, again, Nottingham Lincoln, uh, by, well, we're doing Lincoln Nottingham, uh, by Just Trains. Uh, that's also available on Just Trains website and alanthompsonsim.com, the extension, all the standalone. Very, very big thank you to Just Trains for allowing us to uh, host the extension as well, which is really kind of them. This scenario has had some tweaks AI-wise um, and a couple of little tweaks with the 222, but nothing major. Uh, I think it's a release that Klaus wants to do with a reskin at some point. So there's been a few little bits and pieces there with that. But apart from that, it's pretty much as it stands. We shouldn't see any of the different stock because we're not getting that far into the scenario. Admin bits out of the way. Let's get going. We've more to talk about as we get going. Good morning, driver. To be in a bit of boost capacity on their 222 slash one fleet, 222001 and 006 had carriages removed, boosting all four car meridians to five car sets. Today we take a newly strengthened 222104 on the one driver 19, the 0640 East Midlands Railway Service to Lincoln, from Lincoln to St Pancras. En route, be calling at Highcombe, Swindlebury, Collingham, Newark Castle, Lodham. I do kill me. Don't worry if I'm pronouncing these wrong. I do apologise. Nottingham East Midlands Parkway, Leicester, where a London driver takes over, usually covers up to another five car set. At Nottingham, however, this morning, due to 222101 failing at Etches Park, the service will run as 222104 throughout. Open the doors and prefer to departure at 0640. Okay, that gives us four minutes. Should be fine to get set up in that time. So, this, of course, is the odd set. It's, got, uh, it's in what I call granddad livery. Uh, the MR purple. I know it's growing on me a little bit, but I think it, it was sort of. If you asked your granddad what colour should train, like what would be a good looking livery, they go, Oh, yeah, that purple with them lines, that looked lovely, that would. If your granddad's from a weird part of Yorkshire with a bad accent. Right, okay, so this 222 is using the Semaphore Sim uh, Voyager Meridian pack, which is now back on their website, which is great news because uh, it was. I think probably one of the best things they'd actually done in a long time. I just need to check that I'm getting... Yeah, we're all good. PBC is set. DRA is on, but my door control panel isn't on, so that would be handy if we actually started that up. Driving the MPV before this, I didn't need it. Talking of EMR things, I'd like to know, is there anything EMR that you guys would like to see for train soon? Please let me know in the comments. Uh, so if you've got anything, for, especially EMR-wise, that you'd like to see, please, please, please do let me know. Right, okay, we need headlights on today. I need my instrument lights on. DRA is set, doors are open. Destination blind. This is a St Pancras service. Good. Right, Lincoln. Already seen a nice little touch there, look. The old fire alarm bell there. I didn't get a really, when I was streaming this, I didn't particularly get a good look around it. Um, but I had a general sort of look around it. It looks lovely. It's very in the same style that a lot of the JT routes are, which is quite nice that it's sort of in keeping with the rest of it. Um, this scenario is set sort of wintry time, so some of the trees look a little bit sparse, but trees are always going to be my bugbear with JT routes anyway. What's that? How long did I get? Four minutes in before I mentioned them. Must be a record. Um, but it looks, the attention to detail, trackside stuff looks stunning already. And some of the buildings to the sides and stuff I've really liked. So yeah, all in all, Lincoln's looking awesome. Sorry, I'm flying around this really fast. I do apologise. 
You've got the bridge that sort of stopped people, suppose it was built to stop people legging it across the level crossing. That was a big, uh, big issue for Lincoln back in the day. And I think it's still, I think when I did this on stream, people were saying if the level cross goes down, it can still hold you up for a good 10 minutes. I suppose it is what it is. I hate that saying as well. Don't even know why I said it. Right, and forward. DSD cancel, still on queue. 74 sim guys, please change it. No, I was I, I was actually up in Lincoln uh, end of August. Uh, my mate moved up there during COVID. Actually, I didn't get a chance to go up and see him until like literally August, and it was just next to Oakham Station. He's literally just like you could hear the trains going past. It was quite nice. I couldn't really see them, but I could hear them. And I'm just going to hazard a guess that that's a student union by the uh, the fact it says student union on the front of it. That's a cool building. Liking the pride flag there as well. Oh, I've missed the DSD, I know. What's the reset procedure for the, the 222 when I get a DSD alert? I have no idea, you know. It's been so long since I've properly driven it. Lost my engines now as well. Oh. We'll definitely call this a little bit of a technical fault. Let's try starting it back up there. There we go. Interesting. Not, uh, just to let you know, that that is not uh, the Just Trains' route's fault. That's my bad driving. Now, let's actually cancel the DSD as well. So that doesn't happen again when we're having a look around. So we've got a 40 limit. I haven't sorted my branding on my uh, FSAs either. I always find driving, like uh, leaving stations early morning just at this sort of time of TS always looks real nice. We've got a 30 limit coming up there as well. Shaders playing about in this. Yeah. There we go. 
Right, well, looks a blurry in the distance now. So for the for the two 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 to be run this route, I suppose it's a little bit sort of not being able to stretch its legs too much. So if I remember rightly, I think seventy is it seventy or eighty the maximum speed of this length. And I don't know why it is. If you guys know this, do let me know. Remember this question coming up because the track's real straight. So I'm wondering, is it like a, like a, is it unstable because it's on sort of like marshland sort of thing? Is it what's the reason for the such low speed? It's very very straight, very very level. So to me, the layman would expect it to have a slightly higher sort of sort of track speed. Do love some of the new assets that uh, JT have got and the inlays for their uh, level crossings and stuff. They are nice. So we've got 70 now, but it's not really much point. It's got a nice atmosphere, it's got a nice feel to it, this bit of this route. So this is a this would be a, a SDO platform. Oh, easy, mate. Literally like a whole minute down already. This is hiking, yeah. So my mate lives sort of like behind the where well, did doesn't it? more behind the bushes over here. Sounds a bit weird, that doesn't it? Lives in the bushes. He's not that kind of weird though. <laughs> but yeah, I think it feels quite weary. I actually, the one time I do like, before I mention it again, the one time I do like the JT trees is actually in the winter. Um, I think they do look all right, though. It's wait for me, beep beeps. I'm on a game because it's a short platform, so we might just go.
I need to set up my breaking percentages. Now it's swapped over to the... Um, Uh, the seven four sim one. Let's change my breaker profile. So quick run the brake check. So I want twenty. 60. See how that goes, eh? Right, back to the route. So that is what I was actually doing. I'll just explain what I was doing. Um, with the latest version of the Train Sim Controller software, you can edit the braking profiles. Um, so you can change what percentage each notch is. Uh, handy little feature. I've played about with it a bit. I haven't played about with it too much. But enough to uh, sort of... Um, Roughly understand what it does. It's pretty obvious what it does, really, isn't it? Oh, is my tea cooled down yet? Yeah. And yes, it's very rare for me to drink tea, but I am. It was really nice. It was sort of like autumn feel this morning as I took the kids to school. Winter's creeping back in and as much as I'm I'm not always a fan of summer, in fact I'm not a fan of summer at all, um, this summer has been exceptionally hot for us over here in the UK, I think most of Europe as well. And I, I was, I'm ready for a bit of cold. I'm ready for a bit of cold. And this morning was fantastic. I did sort of come in, I was like, oh, I'm going to have a cup of tea with my videos this morning. And usually I'd just be water. And it's not normal tea either. I know this sounds really poncy, but it's not. I don't really like normal tea. It's jasmine tea. It's Chinese jasmine tea. Really poncy, I know. Oh, I'm getting swindled. Swinderby. Should give me time to check that braking profile out now. Yeah, see, no. I need to have another fiddle with that. I need to probably sort that out when I'm not making a video. That would probably be the best thing not to do, wouldn't it? Now we've come into this station incredibly slowly. But it's nice to start looking around the route anyway, because you can see out sort of like that. I suppose the, another thing I found in common when I did it on stream was it's similar to Cambridge to Peterborough in that it's got that sort of vastness, that fen sort of vastness feeling. It's Lincolnshire, it's Lincolnshire and Cambridgeshire are notori notoriously flat.
It's another short platform, this one. Liking the stations on this. You'd be a bit annoyed, you'd be waiting a while for that train to go, wouldn't you? Right, again, I think because we're a short platform, I don't know if I'm going to get my buzz buzzes. We'll give it to him. I'm pretty sure my horn should only be one low tone, a three second blast of low tone. Which most uh, train operating companies use now. Seems to be in their professional driving standard policies. No more two-tone usage unless it's emergency. And somebody was even talking about uh, there's a set of boards, I think it was in Wales, that's got two whistle boards on top of each other and that means high and low tone. I don't know. Why is this section of the of the route fifty mile an hour? Is it crossings? Is it track stability? If you know, please do let me know in the comments. Is it just old track that needs replacing and hasn't been upgraded to higher speeds? Ballast? It could be many things that, that limit the speed of a speed of a line, but. Um, It does just seem really odd that it's so straight. Ground movement. Yeah, but if you don't, let us know in the comments, please. This is something I also noticed as well. These green bushes. I understand they're quick and easy to use. And I think I think we've even got them in our some of our routes, but they're very prominent in this route.
don't know why my sound keeps cutting out with the engines there in neutral either. I don't know if that's a hangover from the AP sound pack or um, whether it's the 74 sim pack, not sure. Lovely station, so. Lovely stations. Well, I'll stop here as well. Collingham, why have I been or been through Collingham? Hmm, it rings a bell. It really rings a bell. Well, now we're ready to go. So what have we got after this? We've got Newark Castle. Lodum. Is it Lodum? I don't know. I'm going to go with Lodum. Loudum. Loudum. Lodum. I'm not sure. Again, let me know in the comments. And then Nottingham. We have enough 40 minutes to do 22 miles. 30 mile an hour average. It's not the fastest bit of line, this, is it? There is, I can hear people. Sorry guys, I was rudely interrupted there. I'm not back into the swing of things, we've been back at work yet. <laughs> it's always the, the tricky bits of uh, working from home. Meridian's a pain in the bum bum to uh, keep at 50 as well. Lovely view of the Lincolnshire Fens. Not very often you get to, to be fair, it's not very often you get to sit in a passenger view and just know that you're all right for a little while, does it, is it? So, it's pretty good. Just housing.
Right, is that actually going to load in this time? Or is it just not going to load in? No. It is there. I promise. The geos are in. The scenario is a nice one because you get it takes you all the way all the way through it really. Keeps you sort of on your toes as you get further down the line as well. And you can do the faster speeds when you get onto the next section of the line. This next one isn't red. It is red. We're not going to pass it though. Oh, this would be for flat crossing, wouldn't it? <laughs> Is that sugar at Newark in it? Yeah, it's new at flat crossing. That's like 91, is it? Zuma? 91. Nice. Oh, a lovely touch there. Like that. So that's going to mean. Ah, we've got the green. Yeah, let me check the manual. I think because over that side you've got all the power station stuff as well. But I'm pretty sure there's also a sugar place somewhere I read on this a second ago. No, that's not here. But I think it's all the, all the start of the power station stuff over that side now, isn't it? Once you go, go, go past and you look on your left. It is really weird to think there's still a flat crossing on a main line. Like the East Coast main line has a flat crossing. Pretty crazy. It's definitely a, it's not a fast route.
it's an ice route, it's not a fast one. Oh, is this the bit with the nursery? I really do like this bit. But it does bring me on to one of my, one of my bones of contention with it. This bit's cool if you haven't seen it. This is really cool. I do like this. Gives me a giggle. Even the depression in that woman's face of sitting in the kids' play areas is, is, is great. Um, and the auction house is fantastic. I think the one thing I will say about all this sort of stuff, and I love it, don't get me wrong, I think it's really nice. But see when you're using like those bushes to separate the fields and it off, I would have happily not had these little cars here or, or this... Um, district council building looking as exact as it was to have had somebody put some time into making some of these new flexi row bushes it's something I think all developers suffer with and we've all got to get better at it it's putting in loads of detail in certain things and making things really nice and then leaving some more glare and bits you're only going to see those little cars once but you'll see those bushes like every couple of miles And that's not that's not just a dig at just trains, we're all quite bad at it. What's this is a waitrose, I think, in it this side. Oh nice to see they've got licensing agreement for waitrose there. Careful with that one. Starts to sound silly little things that I end up getting people in trouble. I love these bike racks as well, they're nice and odd. Something new and different. And the hearing loop thing, that's a nice little touch. I think these are now, I think they're on pretty, I think of all stations have got to have them now, haven't they? Where was I the other day and I really noticed them? Uh, little port. So now we've got about 25 minutes into. Not only, almost all my stops are here. Is it 14? Is it 39? Yeah. Do you quite like the briefing just containing those? <laughs> does sort of help a bit, doesn't it? Some of these custom buildings are stunning. The stations are just really, really bloody nice. Some of that very Just Trains look to it. It's definitely in their style. Let's get ready to go. Hopefully we should get no we won't. The 
It's anything like the Voyager, the actual buzzers are like ages after the doors are closed anyway. Right, let's try and keep dead to time. That's a rare one for me. No, I'm quite looking forward to uh, just trying to improve my driving ability. Not necessarily when I'm doing first look videos, not necessarily first videos or, or, or like reviewy style videos, but more when I'm um, just doing people scenarios and stuff, trying to really keep the time for them is an important aspect of it. And of course, hopefully I will have a new first look video end of this week, I hope, I think. Tonight, JT are previewing the imminently released Hope Valley route. So it's the last stream before they release it. So it's before next Tuesday that we, we get the route. So I'm really looking forward to that as well. There's some great scenario potential in that route. Oh, we can do 60 now, that's nice. Eight miles. see this being like a, a better jaunt in something like a decent 153 or a 156 the 222 just doesn't quite get to stretch its legs does it I quite like the sedate pace of doing it And it must have been quite a tricky route to sort of pick the level of detail from. Because if you're bombing up and down the East Coast Main Line at 125, you're not going to be too fussed about certain things being in certain places. You can go with the general feel of things away from the track sort of thing. But when you're only doing 50, 60, that's, you, you're going to have to be pretty accurate. I mean, I don't know the route that, that like, well, well at all, so I can't, could tell you if a house is in the right position or whatever. To be honest, I wouldn't really mind if it was slightly out or whatever. But... Um, You've got to make sure your 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 eyes kept busy, and fair fair play to them. My eyes are kept busy with this route, even though it is slow. I'm kept busy. Some nice screenshots actually. Making it feel like like the Leicester the Leicester Lincoln. So, 
You see, it's like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's like here with the, with the, the flexi road bushes, with the hedges, you can, even just a reskin might have done them some good. You got race course? Yeah, it's definitely enough to keep your eyes busy, it's nice. you guys sort of what, what makes you guys happy with the route is it sort of like i know i know a lot of people are into like high speed runs and some are into the slower more sedate sort of stuff what floats your boat a bit more and what do you think i tell you what is a better question what do you think a route like this can do to keep you sort of occupied Because the more we get down the very picturesque and pretty bits of uh, the UK, or the busy bits, the more this sort of stuff's going to be cropping up into us a bit. And that's not to say that this is, this is bad. And what I'm saying is that there's going to be sort of, like, like Cambridge to Peter, it is pretty flat. There's not a lot to look at most of the way down the route. And for that, we really tried to make sure the track side was perfect and all that jazz. And they've done a really good job with that here as well. Like the use of the overhead power lines in this route as well, we try to avoid them too much because too many of them can really just doesn't help frame rates and it makes routes look a bit silly. Um, but they've used them really nicely in this. Right, this is Lodum or Loudum.
Signal's nice on this as well, to be fair. Oh, I think that's actually my end there, but I'm not going to stop at the signal for that one. Let's go and have a look and see if, we, if we've got a stop marker. We did, yeah, there. And I completely bowled through that, didn't I? Right, loud them for a little while, actually. Let me just sort this out. While we're doing that, I think we've got about twenty minutes of a run into Nottingham after this, haven't we? Yeah. Fifteen, twenty minutes. At my speed, it's going to take a little bit longer than usual, isn't it? <laughs> it's um, yeah. I think the scenarios are really going to make this route, and having the right scenarios is going to be a really good one. I think this scenario is definitely more of a a slow burner until you get to Nottingham and then go forward, sort of thing. Um. I picked this one to show off the whole the whole route, but of course with the video I didn't want to do the whole route. And it's a lovely story, this is one of John 180's. Seven miles. Jesus Christ, what's that hill? Well, blow me down. Look at that. Off of the same when I get out of the fence, I get vertigo. It's part of the real nice thing about rail travel, I think, is seeing the different parts. That's what, especially like the East Coast Main Line, you come bombing through Cambridgeshire and sort of Lincolnshire, which is flat. And then you sort of, you can sort of even just past sort of Newark that way when, when you start seeing hills and stuff. It's crazy. And then like you get into like like going through Berwick and seeing all the sea and, and seeing all the transition of scenery I think is one of, the, one of the big things for me that appeals to me with rail travel. I've seen like different building styles and architecture and... 
brick built buildings to like flint lap buildings to pebble dash when you get to Scotland. Oh, nice. That'll be for Emium, wouldn't it? Is it the westerly one? Emium westerly. It's quite often a 60 as well, though, isn't it? this place here. I don't know this one. This is Carlton. As in the Vauxhall Carlton or my favourite which is the Lotus Carlton. Lovely bit of kit. Then 40. If I remember coming into Nottingham, was really cool.
Yeah, with a, this flat. Yeah, yeah, no, this is, I did see this bit. This is nice. I wonder if there's better places for some screenshots. I'm just saying that. Don't really like being on the dark side of the train because then clouds will moan at me. Yeah, no, that, that one of those two will do. It's Harley Davidson's logo up there as well. Oh, please, guys, be careful. Using people's IP without permission is a dangerous game. Maybe they have permission. I don't know. I don't know. They could easily have permission if they've gone and done it. The hotel's cool as well. Klaus's car park? No, that's not Klaus's car park. In fact, I don't know. No, it's this side. It's this one. We arrived in actually early, so there's some some definite slack in this timetable. I know I'm speeding a mile an hour or two over every now and again, but some good slack. It's a really nice scenario, by the way, if you drive it all the way through. I do recommend it. And the route itself, if this is uh, if this is your sort of cup of tea, man, by all means. And if you've already got the rest of it, extend it off. It means your scenarios are going to work, whatever, doesn't it? All right, then, guys. Thank you ever so much for joining me through that uh, nice, long, long and slow video. But, you know, it shows it off in good light. And that's that's what I'm here to do. Um, it's a nice run. It's, it is, it is yeah, slow. But it's a nice run. And it keeps, does keep you occupied. It does keep you occupied. It's quite nice. All right, guys. Thanks ever so much. Uh, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Head over to alanthompsonsim.com for all your latest and greatest trains and needs, including this route. It's also available through Just Trains themselves. Um, each bind for me, the one has its pros and cons. So it's up to you to decide. And uh, I will catch you next time. All the best, guys. Cheers.